Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're upscaling 360 footage with AI. So first off, what is the problem? Imagine you have footage that is very pixelated after you zoom in, or it's already pixelated because it's old footage, and you want to use this footage. There's usually no way of using this footage. Um, how you would fix this to make it more detailed, you could have a still frame, zoom all the way in, take a pen, draw in all the details, and do that frame by frame. This sounds now kind of crazy, but that's what the AI does. It makes round corners that are pixelated round again, it sharpens things, and it also removes um, ISO noise. I show you this footage now. The first shot is basically the slow motion and full HD, and the other shot is upscaled to 4K. Just take a look at this. So here you can see Corey Vimbeline. This is now the GH5 footage, um, 1080 in 180 frames per second. You can see how noisy it is. I had to adjust the settings and this was just like a test shot. You clearly can see all the noise, how it's falling apart, and this is not to pass. Um, this is a night and day difference. It's basically saved the footage completely. Obviously, if you take um, a closer look, you will see some um, imperfections, but it's of course way, way better. Um, check out the palm leaf in the back in a second. You can see um, way more detail there. Um, the noise has nearly completely disappeared. Um, what is also remarkable is um, what it does to the skin check out his face because there you will see the biggest difference and people naturally just pay attention to the face instead of the surroundings. Clearly you can see now how much it cleaned up his face and the noise disappears. It looks more smooth and natural. Obviously it's it's a nighttime shot so clearly not the um, best quality for the skin now but definitely usable and you can work with that. And if you only use a shot for like two three seconds you're good to go I think. It basically saved the whole thing there and yeah it's tremendous what it can do like you can see there's more detail it just looks better as if it was shot with a better camera obviously you can make out like the little um, differences and the quality doesn't look that great because like if if the quality is already bad and it upscales bad footage you kind of see the difference and you also can select multiple um, rendering options where it does certain things like I only upscaled it to 4K and had it. For some footage, other um, selections should be made. And I, I basically had too many options there. Couldn't try all of them out, but the ones that I've tried out were tremendous so far. But apparently they have for all sorts of like applications, a setting that could render and give you different results. Also it's updating, of course, like you could get like completely different results than I do right now because you, know, you could have been updated and it's even better now. But yeah, it's kind of crazy imagine that there's an AI basically drawing in the details that we are missing out and it just assumes. And it, it does a really good job. It's crazy. But now the real question. What does it do to 360 footage? Let's talk about the 360 footage here. First off, the footage was not that great. It's moving, it's low light and not a lot of detail, too many artifacts. You would get a different result at daytime and or with um, a little bit less noise or a steady shot because the artifacts from moving around and the stabilization basically destroys the footage too much so that the AI from Topaz cannot really do anything with it because it's just mush in some points. But if you hold the camera still, you see how it clears up a lot because the artifacts are disappearing. But yeah, it's not optimal for this test or comparison. So you would get better results, like I said, um, with less noise or at the daytime. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about that footage now. Of course, that was already the worst case scenario. Yeah. So the quick recap is like if you have a good camera and you get everything right in the get go, you basically don't really need it. But if you have old footage or you have um, a situation where you have to save something, get to pass or one of those upscaling AIs. Also, check out the description down below because I have now an Etsy store where you can support the channel or support yourself because maybe you want to display your lenses or you want to have a stand for your 360 camera that doesn't tip over, which is also pretty neat or even better, a Rode Micro Windmuff Holder. I don't have a real name for it, but this is, this is it. 